what's the real cost of college? And how do you pay for it? Follow along as Sophia figures it out. Sophia is a high school student with big dreams. She has always wanted to study computer science. Sophia has been preparing for college, saving money, and working hard in school. But looking at tuition, she doesn't know where all that money is going to come from. Sophia's mom has always said the only thing more expensive than a college education is not having a college education. Sophia's degree is an investment that will pay off throughout her whole life. But how do we pay for it? Sophia asks. It's like that computer game you like to play, Sophia's mom says. You collect resources so you can build your world. Johnson and Wells University is on Sophia's college list. So she starts with her personal financial planner, Jeremy, provided for her by Jaywoo. His job is to help students like Sophia and their families navigate financing their education. It involves so much more than a sticker price. Jeremy explains that the real costs to attend aren't the same as the published tuition and fee amounts. Sophia needs to add up all her expected college costs. Then, scholarships and grants can all lower that price to a net cost. Jeremy shows Sophia and her mom Jay Wu's net price calculator, which calculates a total cost of attendance based on what Sophia is looking for. Then they can estimate the net cost after scholarships, grants, and merit aid. So what's in those costs? First, Sophia is super excited about living on campus. She knows she'll make great friends at school, so she needs a room plan. And she also needs a meal plan. These can vary. So Sophia needs to look at all the options available and figure out what works best for her. So now she has a better idea how much it will cost to build her world. How will Sophia pay for college? Good news, says Jeremy. Jaywoo rewards amazing students like Sophia with merit aid for academic and personal achievement. Merit aid usually makes up the largest portion of aid received by students. After merit aid, Federal aid provides the second biggest reduction to the net price of college. Students usually receive up to $10,000 in federal aid for a college education. Jeremy says the free application for federal student aid is key. By filling out our FAFSA, Sophia can apply for federal, state, and institutional funding at the same time. A one-stop shop, as Jeremy jokes. He recommends that Sophia complete her FAFSA early so she'll have a good idea of her funds early in the process. Filling out the application is free and only takes 30 minutes. Plus, it's the only way to determine if you're eligible for federal and state financial aid. Sophia and her mom complete the FAFSA together. Jeremy has offered to help with any questions, and there are YouTube tutorials to coach students and parents through the process. Later, when Sophia logs into Jaywoo's admissions portal to view her offer letter, all of the financial details are there, including her eligibility for scholarships, grants, federal aid, and loans. Sophia does a happy dance at how much merit aid Jaywoo has offered based on her high school performance. <laughs> Sophia will do her own research on outside scholarships, but the list on Jaywoo's website is impressive. There's even a tool that helps potential students match their profile with these outside scholarships to find opportunities they qualify for. Jeremy reminds Sophia to check back frequently because the list of scholarships is updated throughout the year. Sophia is also surprised to learn how much of her own money she has saved from putting it into the bank, all of which can help her pay for college. Her mom had also opened a college-bound 529 account when Sophia was born, hoping she'd have the opportunity to attend college someday. So there's even more money in the bank. The world Sophia's building is getting higher and higher. And Sophia's mom was approved for a Parent PLUS loan. That additional borrowed money can help Sophia finance her college education even more. Sophia was also accepted into her second and third choice colleges. Together, she and her mom look at those colleges' net costs to compare to Jaywoo's offer letter. Sophia has also received a higher scholarship offer from school number two, but that school's tuition and fees cost more than Jaywoo's. So she and her mom would need to take out and pay back higher loans to afford it. She received a lower scholarship offer than Jaywoo's from school number three. Their tuition and fees are a bit lower than Jaywoo's, but without generous merit aid, Sophia would still pay more overall for that school. She's so glad Jeremy explained how net costs reveal the true cost of college. 
The big picture is more than one number when it comes to financing your education. As Sophia progresses at JWU, Jeremy is there every year to make sure she stays on track so she can focus on learning to solve software engineering problems. Plus, Sophia qualifies for a work-study job, monitoring the computer lab she loves hanging out in anyway, so she can even have money for extra fun. With a little help, Sophia financed her degree. At graduation, Jeremy is there to cheer for Sophia, but nobody cheers louder than her family. 